In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to enhance your Sentinel-2 imagery downloaded from any platform, whether it's Google Earth Engine or the uh, original source. If you downloaded the image, then your original image look like this, which is quite black and we cannot see it properly. And I'm going to show you the way to enhance it uh, so that it looks much more better uh, and the brighter than the original image. So if you want to see the process, how I did it, watch this video till the end. Let's get it started. All right, so before starting this video, I'm going to quickly introduce about the geotile and the data set. So first of all, in order to generate the tiles data uh, to train the deep learning model, I have installed my geotile library with pip install geotile. And after that, I connected my drive and also I loaded my uh, data set, uh, which is from Hetaura Sentinel 2 2000. 20 and 12 month so i loaded this data this data is actually downloaded from a uh, google earth engine you can uh, try your own data set and these are the metadata so it has six bands uh, rgb nir and swir1 and 2 so the first three band are the rgb band and no data value is null and then it's fluid 32 bit raster and also the CRS is 4326, which is WGS84 uh, coordinate system. And in order to like generate the tiles, so let me show you the my original data set over here. So I stored my data set in the Google Drive folder over here, and then I loaded it over uh, via geotile package. And after that, in order to generate the tiles, so I generated the tile with save tile equal to false. By default, it will uh, automatically generate the tiles inside tiles uh, folder. So I pretend it to not to generate uh, instantly and just to store uh, all the tiles information inside geotile package. And after that, I converted none to zero because when you download the data and that time you have like no data value is none and which create the problem during training your deep learning model that's why i converted it to zero and then uh, drop i drop the none tiles and zero value tiles and then i save the tiles over here so these are all my tiles right so after that so i simply using glob uh, package i simply load all the tiles there are 1048 tiles in this directory and after that uh, this is the like process of enhancing the imagery so for that i need numpy since i'm going to deal with the uh, lots of metrics and matplotlib to visualize my data and then skimage exposure which is the key function here so it helps to remove the uh, outlier in the image and enhance the image and uh, restrio to like read the data set and from here so np random dot rand int so i'm getting the random image so let me for now let me like just comment this out and if i print the img so each time you will see the different uh, number that means it's like updating right so it will taking the random number within that our limit which is a 1048 and after that i am like simply uh simply loading my Rastrio uh, loading my tiles using rio.open function and then if I print out the metadata of course you can see it's geotile non value and width and height is 256 by 256 since those all are the tiles and band are 6 which is RGB NIR and SWIR and for each image the information is similar the only different thing is the transformation you don't need to worry about that for now 
and here I'm like loading my data set src.read which will read the my image is the numpy array and if you print out the data dot shape then you will see it's 656 256 by 256 that means it has six band 256 by 256 image in order to like visualize the data set we need the uh, data to convert it into like x y comma band uh, format instead of band x y format so that's why i am transferring my data set to the uh, to the actual format whatever i need for the visualization x y band right so if i print this out now you will see my uh, matrix is converted into 256 256 by 6 so now it's time to like enhance the image so for that as i said before so i'm going to use sk image package uh, exposure function and for that so i wrote the data enhance matrix with the zero value of 256 256 by 6 uh, band so which matches the our original data set uh, x y comma uh, band uh, format and after that for I'm, I'm going to like enhance it by the channel wise what i mean is uh, based on the six band so each band i'm going to like replace their uh, minimum and maximum number to between zero to one so in order to do that so i'm going uh, channel wise which is data dot shape minus one means the uh, last index which is six that means it will go first band second band third band uh, up to six band and then i'm calculating here the percentile p2 and p98 and uh, of course the percentile is from data and then it's two percentile and 98 percentile and in in order to enhance this image so i use the exposure function and just remove the p2 and p98 uh, values and just rescale my intensity to the uh, between zero and one so in this way you have like enhance your imagery to like uh, visualize it more clearly and more bright way now this function is just the uh, just uh, to visualize the imagery so first of all uh, using matplotlib i have this axis one and two which is like subplot of uh, two frames with the figure size is 10 by 5 and then uh, axis 1 uh, title is rgb original and then 2 is enhance and then in the first image i am showing only the rgb band which is uh, between 0 to 3 as i explained in the data section uh, so if you plot 4 then it will be an ir matrix and uh, it's it's just the rgb image so for now i'm going to comment out this print statement so that you can see the image clearly and yeah okay so this is our result so by default our image is more dark and we cannot find any like good good like visualization we cannot see any uh, properties from first image but from second we can clearly see it's uh, whether it's forest or whether it's river or whether it's uh, like a city so yeah it looks more brighter and cleaner all right so if you want to like check the nir image which is a uh, band uh, 4 that means 3 since the array start from 0 so if you take the nir image so this is the like normal nir image and this is the enhanced nir image of course you can see these features are more enhanced and then uh, more visualized in the uh, left right image so yeah there is like not much things we can clearly see uh, in nir image uh, of course because it's it's just the one band but of course in the uh, rgb 
you can visualize it more clearly okay so in rgb there is like quite different between two imagery images so see this it's fully black but this one is really really bright so yeah in the machine learning also you can like normalize your, your data set uh, with the similar technique and also like try to like train your model and then do the prediction and see the results how it works i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching